All right, look at this example 15. Find the solution for y double prime plus y equal to secant x. Okay, so first step in the variation of parameter, we should be able to identify e, which is the coefficient of y double prime. So in this case, e is 1, and then uh, we also need to identify fx, which is secant x in this case. Okay, second step, we need to get the yh. Okay, so... Uh, the homogeneous solution, so we have the characteristic equation m squared plus 1 equal to 0 for this case. Okay, so be careful here because uh, the common mistake, students tend to write m squared plus m for this example, which is not correct because this is y double prime plus y, not y prime. Okay, so the correct uh, characteristic equation should be m square plus 1 equal to 0. Then m square will be negative 1. So m is the square root of negative 1. So we have the complex root here. So m1 and m2 is positive negative 5. Alright, so in that case, our yh is then exponent of uh, 0x. Okay, normally, we don't write that one. And then a cos x plus b sin x. Okay, because actually, okay, based on this term, alpha is actually 0, beta is 1. So that's why we have yh like this. And based on this, this yh here, we should choose our y1. Okay, the intention so step number two is to choose y1 and y2. y1 comes from the first term of yh uh, without the constant. So we write y1 is cos x, y2 is sin x. All right. And uh, third step, we need to find the Ronskin w, okay, which is given by... The, uh, the determinant sign, so we have y1, y1 prime, y2, y2 prime, okay? So this is now cos x, so the, uh, the derivative of cos is negative, negative sine x, y2 is sine x, and then the derivative of sine x is cos x. Right, so based on this, we have cos square x, which comes from cos x times cos x here, minus sine x times negative sine x. So we have negative sine square x. So uh, at the end, we have cos square plus sine square, which is the famous trigonometric identity, which is one. Okay, so our w is actually one for this case. Okay, uh, next step is to find u and v. Okay, so the formula for u is negative, the integral of y2 fx over a w dx. Okay, so if we put this together, then we have negative, the integral, y2, so look back at your step number 2. So, y2 is sine x, okay, times the fx, okay, so look at your step number 1, okay, second x, and a is 1, w is also 1, okay, so we have the dx here. So, we end up with the integral sine x, and we know that secant is actually 1 over cos. Okay, so now, how do we solve negative sine x over cos x okay so this is i think not uh, that hard to solve so basically you just use substitution u equal cos x okay so hopefully you can get that one okay just try with u equal cos x so that du is negative sine x dx okay and solve this integral so cut the story short this uh, integral okay is given by ln cos x okay so we have the constant plus c at the end okay and then v is given by the integral so for the v um, we don't have the negative 
okay so it is positive integral y1 okay fx over a w dx so we have y1 which is cos cos x okay times secant over a is 1 w is 1 so we have dx here okay let's move down a bit all right so we end up with a uh, cos x times 1 over cos x okay so we finally can simplify the, this integral to be the integration of dx only. So we have x plus some constant d now, okay? Since we already use c somewhere here. All right, so finally, our final answer, therefore, y is given by u y1 plus v y2. Okay, so our u is, okay, so put carefully in the bracket, ln cos x plus some constant c times y1. So look back at your y1, which is cos x, plus v. v is x, so put in the bracket, v is x plus d times y2 our y2 is sine x okay so you can see okay we have um okay if we expand uh, the bracket then we have ln cos x times cos x plus c cos x okay plus x sine x plus d sine x okay so at the end our final answer okay is um, if i put the cos first then we have cos x ln cos x okay plus c cos x okay plus x sine x plus d sine x okay All right. so that's it so that's how we solve um, the non-homogeneous equation using variation of parameter so basically um, the difficulties okay for this method is uh, basically comes from uh, solving the integration itself if you have um, quite complicated term Okay, to be integrated, then you might have difficulties okay, at step number four. Otherwise, it is quite straightforward compared to the method of undetermined coefficient. Okay, okay. so um, take a few uh, minutes to digest okay, this variation of parameter method before we proceed to the second example, Okay, example 16.